So now that I have put in the battery and charged the phone and inserted my SIM, let's go ahead and take a tour of the phone. But before I do that, for those of you who are wondering, the power of the battery is actually a big, nice battery. It's made by HTC, of course, and it has a 1400 mAh lithium ion battery. So that's pretty good. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the device. So the device does run on Android 2.1. The phone is, as I said, made by HTC, but it is Google branded. And it has this gorgeous AMOLED 2.7 inch touchscreen. So it's a capacitive touchscreen and the resolution is very good in comparison to other phones on the market. Just let's say the iPhone, which is its main competitor. The highest resolution is 480 by 800 pixels. And it weighs in 130 grams, that's very light. It does have 3G HSPPA. The Nexus One has this very vibrant high resolution screen, which is a 3.7 inch AMOLED capacitive touch screen. And it has a resolution of 480 by 800 pixels. And it only weighs in 130 grams. So the phone does run Google's Android operating system, 2.1 to be exact, preloaded into the Nexus One. And some other features that it has is uh, obviously um, touchscreen controls at the bottom, which most Android phones have. So these are touch sensitive buttons. Here we have the back, the home button, I believe, and the app launcher button and search. We have a multicolor trackball, which is unique to the Nexus One because what it does is it, whenever you get messages and stuff, it blinks different colors. So let's say for Email it will bring a, blink a different color, and for text messages, it will blink a different color. I, I think it also blinks when you have a missed call. So it does run Qualcomm's 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor, which is very speedy. So it's very zippy and speedy, and it's one of the best processors out there on a mobile device right now. It does have Wi-Fi, 802.11. Bluetooth 2.1 A2DP, so you can steer your Bluetooth this to your car or if you have a compatible speaker. It does have micro SD card. It does come preloaded with 4 gigabyte, but you can always upgrade it up to 32 gigabyte. And camera wise, it has a nice 5.5 megapixel camera, and it does have autofocus and LED flash. And you know, multi-touch is included with firmware upgrade for the older uh, Nexus one, but I believe this one comes preloaded with the newest firmware. And it does have the proximity sensor, so when you do take the phone up to your ears, whenever you're talking, the screen turns off. And it obviously it has the accelerometer, so it will flip the screen, rotate the screen accordingly. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the phone. So here it is, the trackball. On the side, nothing, down the right hand side. At the back, we have the HTC logo and my custom made bear, Nexus One, the iPhone killer. Google branding, the 5 megapixel camera with LED flash. This is another mic. So this has two mic, I'll explain that later. So it does have this um, noise cancellation feature actually. So I'll just go ahead and explain right now. So it does have a noise cancellation feature which is pretty unique to the Nexus One. So we have a mic over here and at the bottom. Here we have the volume marker. At top, we have the power button and a 3.5 millimeter jack. That's for your input. So there's the 3.7 inch touch screen. And over here we have the speakers. And at the bottom we have the pins. So we have the 3.5, I mean sorry, the micro USB, the second mic. And these three pins is for um, the dock that you can buy, which is 45 US dollars. One thing you need to the dock is that 
The dock is also Bluetooth compatible, so if you have the speakers hooked up to the dock, you can take the phone out and use it within the range wirelessly. So that's pretty cool. So that's about everything with the Nexus One. It can do video recording. The camera does have smile detection and geotagging. Geotagging which allows you to tag the location of the picture where it was taken. So let's say if you take a picture, you can see where it was taken on a computer or even on the phone. And it also comes with assisted GPS which uses Google Maps. But one thing that's unique in comparison to the iPhone is it comes preloaded with turn-by-turn -turn direction with voice activation. And one thing that's cool about the Nexus One is that it has cool voice recognition. So you can pretty much do a lot of stuff just by using your voice. And the battery life in terms of battery life is 10 hours 2G talk time and 7 hours 3G talk time and standby of 290 hours 2G and 250 hours 3G respectively. And it also has a 20 hours music playback. Now let me just go ahead and turn on the Nexus One. So here we have the Nexus One logo. Since this is the first boot, it might take some time. So let me just go ahead and type the pin in. So it's unlocking the SIM card. So now it's telling me to touch the Android mascot over there. But I'm going to be going ahead and doing that in a separate video. Thank you for watching this unboxing and make sure you check out my other videos, my in-depth tutorial and in-depth look at the Nexus one. So look forward to comparison between the iPhone and other phones. Talking about the iPhone, just for size comparison, I just want to give you guys a quick size comparison right here. I have my iPhone 3GS. So the Nexus one, as you can see the screen, much bigger. Well, not much bigger, but it does make some difference. Thickness wise, Nexus one is a bit thinner. There we have the stacked against them. So that's just a quick size comparison. And if you guys don't mind, before I let you go, I'll just give you guys just for size sake, I have my Blackberry Curve 8900. I know these phones aren't competing against each other. BlackBerry obviously has the keyboard, but just for size comparison, Nexus One is much thinner, but height-wise, BlackBerry is smaller. So thank you for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment.